Packing for a trip there, Helly? All that stuff should fit into your backpack, right? It's just a short two-day trip, after all. Hmm, wait a minute. All right, come on, please fit. Maybe if I just keep shoving it in again and again, it'll all fit? I'm never gonna make it to my trip on time. Hey there, Helly. Packing trouble? Oh jeez, it's like a monkey packed that thing. Let me show you a little packing hack my mom taught me that never fails to save space. Take this t-shirt and lay it flat on the table. Fold the sleeves in over the chest. Now take other items like your towel, underwear, and socks and lay them on top just like this. Lift up the top of the shirt with everything on top and roll it on down. Kind of like you're making a little burrito, filled with clothes instead of beans, of course. See the ankles on your socks sticking out of the sides? Pull them over the ends, securing the roll of clothes you've made. You can do it in one big cuff, see? Nice! Now you've got yourself a compact burrito buddy to take with you on your trip. Oh wow! They can fit right into my backpack no problem! And what's also great about this packing method is that your clothes won't be as wrinkled. Hurry up, we're late! Oh man, getting to this awesome hotel room was totally worth that long flight. Well, there's no better time to unpack my suitcase, I guess. Let's see here. What? You've got to be kidding! All my lotion and shampoo spilled all over my brand new blouses! Is there any way I can salvage this adorable romper? I bought it special for this vacation. Now what am I supposed to wear all week? Wait a second. Maybe I can use some of the things I'm already wearing to fashion some new looks. If you have a scarf like the one Vicky's wearing, go ahead and take it off from around your neck. Once the scarf is wrapped around you underneath your arms, gather it in front. Now take off your ring if you're already wearing one and stick the fabric through it. Now, with the excess fabric, split up the two pieces and wrap it around to your back, tying it there. Oh, hello gorgeous! That thing looks like you bought it at an expensive boutique. You should start spilling shampoo on your clothes more often. Love to shop? Then you probably already know the joys of online shopping. Look how cute this bathing suit is! Okay, I'll just put in my card and… Whoa, that's a lot of dough. That's almost as much as my rent. No way am I forking that up. It wasn't that cute. Okay, here's another one that'll be more my price range. Nope, can't do it. <sighs> Enough's enough. Take a long sleeve shirt like this one and remove your arms from both of the sleeves. Now turn the shirt around so that the back is in the front. Go ahead and pop those arms out of the top. See? Once you flatten it out and get situated, grab the bottom of the shirt and pull it all the way up and over your head. Next, tie the hanging sleeves into a knot just under your chest. Twist them around and tie it in the back. Oh, hey there, new bathing suit! Um, is it just me or is Maya giving off some serious Marilyn Monroe vibes? Looks like Emily is shopping this afternoon. Next stop, the taco shop around the corner. Whoa! You had one job, paper bag. Now what am I gonna do with all my stuff? I can stuff these in my shirt, I guess. Wait a second. I have an even better idea. Instead of holding your stuff in your shirt while you're wearing it, just take the darn thing off. Lay the shirt down and tie it closed using the hanging fringe. One strand at a time. If the shirt doesn't have fringe, you can cut some yourself and tie them closed. Finally tied them all. Last thing to do is pop in all your goodies. You can even use the armholes as bag handles. These shirt bags make great beach totes during the summer. Ow! Ugh, Olivia, you totally broke my sandal! What am I supposed to do now? Totally ripped. Um, this may sound weird, but I think I have an idea. Pop off the tab from your soda can and cut a chunk out like this. Stick the strap of the handle into the hole it ripped out of, 
push it through a bit more than it was before, flip the sandal over, and put the soda tab around the base of the strap. See? That strap's not going anywhere. Here you go. Yup, a perfect fit. Wait! That soda was mine! Watch out, girls! Cannonball! Coming through! Ooh, nice jump, Vicky! Wow, I can't believe she got her hair wet. So, how'd it look? Oh my god, look at her. What? Oh no! Where'd my bikini top go? I knew we were coming over to swim, but I didn't expect a free show like this. If embarrassing yourself at pool parties isn't your jam, take one of the strings from the hanging knot behind you and pull it gently over your shoulder. Tuck it under your other strap and pull it through to make a knot. Pull it nice and tight and hide the hanging string away. Do the same thing on the other side, and voila! That bikini isn't going anywhere. Whew, that felt great, and the ladies are snug in my suit. On hot days like these, it's important to remember to reapply sunscreen. Want some? Oh, so you're just spraying it right on your face, huh? That may be too much. Yeah, try rubbing it in. That should help. Ew. Oh. I'm all about sun protection, but this is a little overboard, don't you think? Okay. All done. Bring it on, sun! How do I look? No what? offense, but you look crazy. Next time, use a compact to apply sunscreen. Take the pad out of your compact and spray some sunscreen into the dish. Go ahead and fill the dish up all the way. Put the pad back and pop on the lid. Now you can pop out your compact and apply sunscreen on the go whenever you need it. That's not the most convenient thing ever. I don't know what is. Man, I wish you had showed me that before I put all this on. But the damage has already been done. You'll be rubbing that in till the sun goes down, Emily. <sighs> what a beautiful day! What could possibly go wrong? Okay, first on the to-do list, feed the cat. Check. Get a birthday gift for the bestie. Hmm. Hey! Come back here! Ooh! Looks like money, honey! I call dibs. Oh, come on, again? All right, I'm getting tired of putting this thing back every ten minutes. I finally have some time to catch some sun. Just wish it wasn't so windy. <gasps> My hat! Okay, that does it. I've got to figure out how to keep this thing on. Take a bobby pin and stick it through the straw hat, catching some of your hair on the other side. Now do the exact thing on the opposite side. Just make sure you're catching a good amount of hair on the inside of the hat. Now that hat's not going anywhere. All right, wind, bring it on. Okay, just one more mile and we'll be beachside. Calling out sick from work was the best idea ever. Well, this spot looks perfect, right by the water. Okay, so sand and ocean mean one thing. Bathing suits. Now where's mine? Uh-oh. Looks like I only brought the bottoms. Now what am I gonna do? This definitely isn't a nude beach. Don't sweat it, Olivia. Those bottoms may be more versatile than you think. Take your bottoms like the ones Olivia has here and turn them upside down. Go ahead and pull the strings all the way out of the waist of your shorts. Next, go ahead and pull that string through the crotch of the bikini bottoms. Wrap the string around your neck so that the crotch of the bottoms is touching the base of your neck. Instead of tying the string in a knot, cross them and pull the ends to your sides. Pull the strings through the leg holes and back out again. Lastly, tie the strings in a knot behind your back. There! Well, look at that! A brand new bikini top! And a cute one at that! All right, Vicky, I'm ready for some fun under the sun, baby. Wow, this looks like a legit bathing suit ad. You'd never know Olivia was wearing bikini bottoms on her top. Whoa, careful there. 